Radhika Jones, who was just announced as the next editor-in-chief of Vanity Fair, has been criticized by her colleagues for her choice of clothing, according to a report. The former Time magazine editor wore a navy shirt dress and a pair of leggings with cartoon foxes on them during a meeting in Manhattan. Despite her new acclaimed position at the magazine, apparently her co-workers were yet so thrilled with her outfit. Pictured left is Radhika Jones, who was just announced as the next editor-in-chief of Vanity Fair, and right is a picture of tights with cartoon foxes, similar to a pair she wore to a Condé Nast meeting in Manhattan. According to WWD the staffers at Condé Nast were aghast, with her look. The outfit was interesting, one Condé fascioista said to a fellow worker, whilst another described it as iffy. Anna Winter, Condé Nast's artistic director and editor of Vogue, apparently fixed one of her trademark stoic glares upon Jones Hosiery throughout the duration of the staff meeting. Anna Winter, Condé Nast's artistic director and editor of Vogue pictured above, apparently fixed one of her trademark stoic glares upon Jones Hosiery throughout the duration of the staff meeting. A fashion editor at Condé Nast sneered, I am not sure if I should include a new pair of tights in her welcome basket. The staffers at the magazine were chastised by over 500 people who posted several comments on the article blasting it as childish high school behavior. One user wrote, The biggest problem for women in the workplace is women. Nasty condescending, mean, haughty, judgmental. Another angry person commented, maybe the snobs will quit out of sheer uppity nose out of joint medical condition. What rotten people. Zara Rahim, director of communications at Vogue, berated the article for pitting women against women. Zara Rahim, director of communications at Vogue, berated the article for pitting women against women, her tweet pictured above. In several other tweets Raheem praised Radhika Jones, above, on her appointment as editor-in-chief of Vanity Fair. In response to someone's tweet regarding the article she said why do you love pitting women against women so much on? In other tweets Raheem praised Radhika Jones on her appointment as editor-in-chief of Vanity Fair. She said, the historical significance of Radhika Jones' appointment at Vanity Fair should not be lost. First person of color to be named EIC at VF in their history. First Indian American woman to be named EIC of a major magazine publication in history. Wow. Zara Rahim, director of communications at Vogue, posted several tweets congratulating Radhika Jones, above, on her new appointment. Jodi Cantor expressed her frustration on Twitter with regards to the article. She added, this moment is important to young brown people especially young brown women, everywhere. We are rarely seen or appreciated outside of the realm of medicine slash engineering. Jody Cantor, Ali Maloney and Aaron Sarkar were also furious with the article. Jones is expected to begin her new role as editor-in-chief on December the 11th. Aaron Sarkar was also annoyed with the contents of the article, his tweet above.